Hello you guys, welcome back to another video if you are new to my channel. My name is Eve, it is currently 8, 8 a.m. on Saturday and I haven't vlogged in a while so I felt like picking up the camera and showing you guys my day today and catching you guys up on what has been going on. I feel like I've been super busy with work and with wedding planning and everything and I just haven't been super good at keeping you guys updated. So we are going to do that today. I have a ton to get done. Alec is running errands right now and I need to go to the mall to do a return. I have this pair of pants from Ritzy that doesn't fit and my apartment is just like doesn't even look that bad in here right now but it's chaos. So I need to do some cleaning. I really need to clean my floors. I for some reason am not. That's like one of my least favorite like tasks to do um but i need to like deep clean scrub my floors because having two cats they definitely get dirty so that's gonna be our day that i'd take you guys along with me and yeah let's get going to put on my jewelry let me set this down i this is really random but i will give you guys my youtube people a sneak peek i am this summer i am working with blue nile which is like a diamond company literally this whole box of stuff from them which is incredible and i'm obsessed with these earrings lately they are just super simple, like diamond studs, and then these little huggy hoops. It absolutely does not want to focus, but they're just little diamond. Okay, here's what they look like on. So, super simple and like not super noticeable, but I used to wear just like gold mini hoops in my ears all the time. And I would go through them so quickly like I mean I would get them from like Amazon or whatever So it wasn't a big deal, but I would constantly be buying new ones and since these ones are real diamonds I am so excited because they're just gonna last Forever <laughs> and I'm not gonna be constantly replacing them because it was really getting to be a pain that they were like Always tarnished and like doing weird things to my ears. So like the posts of these are White gold so I'm like just confident that I'm not gonna get some weird ear infection and they're gonna hold up and I do actually have a Blue Nile discount code for you guys. I think it's like $50 off. Definitely check out Blue Nile. I've been obsessed with just like high quality staples that I'm going to wear all the time every day and not have to worry about tarnishing, etc. Okay, we are finally headed out. The mall doesn't even open until 10, so we had to wait a minute. But we are about to leave and I'm going to be so hot in leggings, but it's always cold in the mall, but it's already 80 degrees outside, so... Go. We're successful. They had the pants in a bigger size. So I exchanged them and I got shoes. Coffee time. We have not gone here to fruition in forever because they got rid of the acai bowl that Alec likes. So we stopped coming, but I used to get this coffee of mirror that I remember being really, really good. So I'm excited and I hope it's as good as I remember. And I hope your acai bowl is as good as you remember. It literally has like sprinkles on it. Whoa, I don't remember. I, I don't remember what I had in it. And on the online order, just it's called a short and sweet, but it didn't say what I had in it. So, do you have a spoon? Yeah. Okay. So, to be determined what's actually in this. It must be brown sugar. That sounds like what it is. And that's really why I like it so much. Because my favorite Starbucks drink is the brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso. 
and this honestly tastes really similar to that. That's what it tastes like. This is probably what it would taste like if I got the brown sugar shaken espresso with full sugar. No, because that's actual brown sugar. The Starbucks one syrup. Oh, syrup. Yeah, because you can taste the texture of it. And it's got something else into it too, but at Starbucks we always get half the amount, so it's less sweet. This is really sweet. Okay, I'm home and I thought I would show you guys what I got at the mall, which is not super exciting. I really wanted to try and find something for this weekend, but I was just not in like the shopping mood, I guess. I thought I would be and then I just got there and didn't feel like looking around because also I'm super excited for the 4th of July, which is like next weekend. It's already coming up so quick and I have ordered a few things from Revolve that I'll show you for the 4th of July, but I feel like I still don't order more stuff, but I need to not. Um, but these jeans are the ones that I had, I mentioned these in my last video with the Aritzia haul. Um, I have the same pants in black and in blue and I ordered them in white because I really wanted like a nice white jean that didn't have any rips in it for summer and I love the way these fit me and they came and they were just way too small. I think I said that. So anyways, I sized up and they're a little big now, but they had another of the size that I do wear in the store and I tried those on thinking like maybe it was just the one pair that fit really weird and those were still like so small I couldn't even button them so I sized up and they were able to like give me them for the sale price which is great um they're super cute on and I love them and then I have been thinking about getting these shoes for like two months now usually I'm kind of an impulsive shopper but I was like I don't know if I really need these I have a lot of sneakers um but I love the on clouds that I have but they I was wearing them earlier they're like gray and kind of like a pink color so they don't match that much i have to wear like all black or like black and white like what i'm wearing now in order for them to match so these ones are much more uh neutral they are just white with like some gray on them and i think these ones are they're still like very athletic looking but i think they're less athletic looking than the ones i have the ones i have look more like hiking shoes almost so these are more like athleisure. Come on, I only had like higher socks on when I was there and I don't love the way shoes look, but my other ones I like have to wear with tall socks where normally I wear no-show socks like all the time because I hate the look of my socks peeking out from my shoes, which is just a little crazy. Alec is like that too. I think he's the one that honestly made me like that. Here we go. Can you see them? I feel like they're cute. So, very excited about those. Those are my only two mall purchases today. I'm gonna go lay out in the sun for a little today. I still have my Revolve packaging here. So I just got my bikinis down. And I thought I would show you what I got from Revolve. So first of all, I have this bikini bottom that is from H&M. It's just like a white cheeky bikini bottom. And I never ordered this. H&M like totally screwed up my package. And like I had probably like $200 worth of clothes and they didn't send me any of them. They just sent me this. So it obviously got mixed up with like someone else's, but it didn't even come with a top, but it fit me. And like I was able to get my order refunded, but I couldn't like return this bottom because I had no proof of purchase or anything. So I just like kept the bottom and it fits perfectly, but I was like, I need a top for this. So I saw this one on Revolve that was actually like on sale too. It's from the brand Sea Folly. And it is the same like ribbed material. And it's like the same stripe that way. They are a little bit different tones, if you can see there. This one's a little bit more yellow white and this is a little bit more white white. But I'm like, when it's on, I really don't think anyone's gonna notice and this is a pretty good price um so yeah there's a little white bikini i need to i don't own like any white bait like solid white bathing suits and i need to start stocking up before my bachelorette party and then i ordered this bikini from hunza g i guess is how you say it which i've been seeing like all over instagram uh it is like this how do you i don't know how to describe the material it's super stretchy they're one size fits all but I would say, honestly, they fit like a size small. <laughs> like, the bottom is not... I mean, it's really stretchy, but, like, I wouldn't want it to have to stretch too much more where then it's, like, pinching you in. So I would say, although they're one size fits all, they're, like, one size fits all, small, 
maybe for sure the top i think could fit bigger like it's a little bit maybe big on me when it's worn like this but i've seen people that like go like this and like twist it so that the top is like twisted like that on i like cannot show this but anyways it actually fit me better that way and yeah it's just like super stretchy and i thought this brown was really cute on especially like with the tan so i'm excited about that i just felt like i needed a new good bikini before the fourth and then just randomly came across the white one so that is all i found so far i'm trying to think if i bought anything else for the fourth of july not really we are just going up north again like we did last year i know i vlogged it i think last year um a little bit not as many people can come this year so our friends ali and kyle hi buddy are coming with us instead or as well so there will be a lot of people now uh i think like one two three four five like five six six couple yeah there's a decent amount coming so like six couples kids where then there's like adult couples too i mean we're adults but you know what i mean like newly married or engaged or yeah our age so yeah it's gonna be a fun group and it's gonna be a big group and it'll be super fun so i can't wait for that i've been like looking forward to it so much especially because next week at work is going to be a crazy week for me and i just want it to be friday already so that we can be up north and start our fourth of july weekend fourth of july week is like my favorite week of the year hey guys, it is a lot a bit later i pretty much just laid out like all afternoon and that's like all i got done actually i did do a lot of cleaning which i totally forgot to film i scrubbed the floors and like yeah vacuumed everywhere so i did get some cleaning done but we are going to the yacht club with some friends and then to like this little block party thing i think i mentioned um which i think that's pretty casual but going into the yacht club you can't like wear i like i thought about wearing jean shorts but you can't wear jean shorts there it's like more formal so this is my little outfit I am obsessed with this dress from Ritzy. I showed it in the haul. It just ties here and is so like light and cute. I want it like all colors. Got my little sling bag and these sandals that I wear with absolutely everything. I honestly wear them so much that I've wondered if it's worth it because they're like kind of like Bottega dupes. I was like, should I get like the real ones since I wear them like every day? And these ones are falling apart. When I say falling apart, I mean I have hot glued them twice back together so it's like i need to get something really similar because i love the way they look i also want a brown pair though because like i feel like i could have done a brown bag with this but i just went like white with black because i don't have good brown shoes i just have a bunch of white shoes i also debated sneakers but it is just so hot out that i feel like sandals are essential and my hair turned out really cute i was filming like a little uh hair tutorial for tiktok because i had a bunch of questions on how i curl my hair like how i had it for my engagement pictures which as you guys know for my pictures rochelle curled it for me um but honestly it looks exactly the same as how i do it because we use the same curling iron and like she taught me how to curl my hair so when i curl it it looks similar super excited to go it's literally 90 degrees out though so hopefully um there's a breeze or something alec do you want to show what you're wearing no you look cute <laughs> are you is that navy or black do we match black. yay okay i will probably forget to vlog and update you guys tomorrow but you know maybe we'll include some of tonight so okay i'm getting yelled at we gotta we gotta go good morning where can i set this oh my goodness i'm so warm the car is on i'm in alex truck right now there we go it's gonna make me less toasty let's get some air conditioning we are meeting for breakfast right now he went to get a haircut and i went on a little walk around birmingham and now i'm cooling off in his car since he's like not done yet and i cannot walk because it's so hot and we're gonna go get some brunch i am wearing my little um aritzia jumpsuit bodysuit unitard i don't romper what they call it i don't know what to call them and i've been wearing it so much i love it it's so comfy so easy to throw on and i'm wearing my new sneakers that i got yesterday i don't know if i want an iced latte or an iced matcha but all i know is i need some caffeine last night was so fun but 
we like didn't eat dinner basically because we went and met our friends Pat and Jess at the, the yacht club that they belong to in Gross Point and we like got some appetizers there like fries like fried pickles and like we got margaritas and then we thought like we were gonna eat food at this street party thing we were going to and they had like food trucks and it was all just like more fried food and I was like I cannot have like it was like fried chicken like nothing that I would really eat so I was so hungry last night going to bed and sometimes when I wake up then if I'm like really hungry going to bed I'm like not hungry but no I'm like starving this morning so it's only 9 30 and I don't normally eat until closer to like later 11 or whatever but I'm gonna go get a big breakfast so that we have fuel for our long day today going on the like pedal pup things I mentioned that I don't I don't know if I did we're going on the Detroit River for a birthday party and yeah it's like a pedal pub boat thing so to be determined how that is it's literally Sunday and I'm like more drinking activities <laughs> just kidding like I don't have to drink on it but it'll be fun it looks like the line at Commonwealth is about to get so long there's like eight million people with strollers like just going right to Commonwealth. So I'm gonna go get us a table. What I've been looking forward to all morning. It's amazing. Literally it looks so good. I think I last left you guys on Sunday night or Sunday morning when Alec and I were going on the like boat thing. It was actually, Rex, was that polite? He just dumped the mail on the ground. He like pushes anything off the counter. Um, I just went and got the mail. I just fed you dinner, what do you want? It's like nine o'clock at night, like, what do you guys want? Um, I went and got the mail because I had this exciting package that I wanted to open. So I don't wanna wait until tomorrow because our like post office USPS mail comes so late at night. It comes at like 6 p.m. And I was out to dinner. He's gonna push it off the counter again. Quit it. Come on. So anyways, oh, what was I saying? The boat thing was really fun. Um, then we got dinner afterwards and then just hung out. Um, are you gonna be Mr. Involved? She might. So that was way more fun. Then honestly, I mean like I was excited for it, but it was more fun than I even expected. Rex, you gotta stop. I just got this package from Minted, which I'm a little confused. I'm like cover up my address. It came with this thing that says confirmed, like received in damaged condition, which I'm like, I hope it's not damaged. It is sample save the dates which I'm super excited for, because we're gonna get our save the dates from Minted. Excited to start designing them, but I wanted to order these samples, since they give you like a bunch of free samples, just to get an idea of what they look like and just looking them already. They're so pretty, I'm so excited. Ooh, I really like that one. That's a little boring. Cute. Cute. Okay, I'll show, I'm working with them on, maybe I like the foils. I do like that one a lot. I'm working with them on Instagram and TikTok. So you guys on YouTube, I'll give you a sneak peek. Come on, come and get it down here. Rex won't leave it alone. So we don't like, is there anything? I swear like Green Shop and HelloFresh managed to get into everything. Okay, Rexy, come here, go get it. Okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna be so hard to choose. So I got a few just kind of like simple ones, like very more like typical. These are the only ones that are horizontal, which I don't think I want it horizontal. I think I want it vertical, um, but those are cute. I looked at this one a lot online and I do kind of like that design. It's not anything super unique, but I do feel like it's really cute and Kind of classic, similar with this one. See, these ones are kind of similar. Top versus bottom. And then these two are both a little bit more unique. I like this more than I thought I would. I honestly didn't really think I would like this one when I saw it online, but I think that's kind of cool. 
like a little bit more unique but like super classy but a little more modern and then this one i've been looking at a lot that has like the names up there and then on the bottom it would say like the date save our date and then the location so i kind of like these and then these ones are fun because they are like gold foil. So this one's foiled at the bottom and this one's foiled at the top. And I, this is like honestly one of the main things I really wanted to get the samples for to see how I liked the foil. I like don't love it on this one. I think I like it better on this one. I think that does look like cute. And we're definitely doing quite a bit of gold at the wedding. I'm not normally a gold person. Like no gold is allowed in my apartment. <laughs> but for the wedding, we're doing like, yeah, some gold accents. So, oh my God, Rex is doing anything he can right now to get my attention. Look at what he is doing. He is chewing on my Vitamix. That is absolutely unacceptable behavior. Like summary of what we have, let me know what we should do. Here's the foil, cute. Here's these ones with the white, not the full picture, which I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards. I think I'm like, like these the best. I feel like these ones are just more like basic. I mean, maybe that's not a bad thing. Like I do really like that one. Or this one. Something about the picture this way just isn't doing it for me. So, highly recommend ordering these from Minted if you are looking at save the dates or invitations. I Look at that stinker. I have someone's wedding invitation there that he's just gonna knock down. Do you want attention? Okay, are you gonna eat that? Let's maybe not eat that. Anyways, what was I saying? I ordered like a wedding sample kit that they also had, which is supposed to have like all the different like papers and yeah, just like samples of everything in it to feel like thickness and like letterpress. I really love like the letterpress invitations. So that is definitely something I'm considering doing. But I had like a consultation with someone from Minted and they were able to kind of just like tell me about everything that they offer and they can also do like custom invitations which is really exciting because I originally really wanted like custom wedding invitations but I was like oh like I don't really know that we're gonna want to pay for that but doing it through Minted would be amazing because it's a lot more affordable to get like custom invitations through like their designers over if you're like going to a stationer. I don't know why I'm like really drawn to this one. I just feel like this type is like really classy and it's a little unique. But we'd want to put something on the back too, I think. I don't know you guys, but also like the foil just adds a little something unique. So I wish I had the other sample kit to show you guys, but it hasn't come yet. I'm like, maybe I need to reorder that because I feel like I ordered that two weeks ago. Now I want to like go on my computer and start designing now that I have these because I don't even think I like designed one with this style but I really like this one. So maybe I'll mess around with them. I'm trying to think what my top three are. Right now looking at this one I feel like it just doesn't fit our wedding theme but I think that's because this picture is like super like they look like they're probably getting married like like in a barn or something <laughs> like very outdoorsy and that's just like not our vibe like nothing against that but it's like very mountains outdoorsy and i want it to kind of fit with the overall vibe i mean honestly none of these really do more so like this one does maybe that's why i like it so highly recommend this i'm gonna go on my computer and spend a little time messing around with them. I don't need to order them quite yet, but I do want to get them ordered soon so that we're not sending them out like too late just because it is like there's so many people getting married in 2022, 2023 that I want to make sure like people know when our date is. Um, and also for like planning travel and everything. So my neighbor's dog was just like going crazy, but I think it's 
I think it's done now. But anyways, I'm going to end this video now and start working on our save the dates and get it edited and up for you guys. And I need to start filming probably tomorrow because we're gonna be heading up north for the 4th of July this weekend and I need to start packing and getting ready for that. Um, I vlogged it last year, so I feel like I will again and I'm excited for that. I like cannot wait. I feel like I've probably said this a million times, but the 4th of July is like literally my favorite weekend of the summer. I don't know, it's just so much fun. And lots of people and just being up north and I hope we have good weather. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss all of the fun of that to come and lots more wedding planning updates. We are just at the very beginning of wedding planning. There's literally so much to come and so much I feel like I haven't told you guys. Um, I wanna do like a full like sit down wedding planning like video, so. Make sure to subscribe and that'll all be coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.